What up guys, it's Sheriff of Patty again with another unboxing. Um, I just completed the Steel Series Rival 310 and we're gonna move on to the Steel Series uh, M750 TKL. Uh, this is their newest lineup. Uh, they're still rocking the what, 150, 500, and 800 keyboards, uh, but this is more of their like eSports lineup now. Uh, this one especially with it being 10 keyless. It does not have the number pad uh, and with it is really nothing. Uh, it's just the cardboard sleeve that holds it in place and the instruction manual. Uh, and what the important thing is, is this guy right here. Uh, so this is it. Uh, this is the Steel Series. This is my first Steel Series keyboard I've ever used. I've always heard good things about them and I definitely wanted to give them a try. Uh, right off the bat, I love the design of it because it's super, super simple. Um, I had the Logitech G Pro keyboard and I love that as well. The only problem I had with it is that there was extra space up here um, and they had uh, the, the G logo here as well. It was just unnecessary space. It wasn't needed. With my keyboards, I like them small. I'm not an accountant. I don't play uh, MMOs to an excessive amount or anything. So I don't need like the 10 keys or a lot of macros or anything like that. This gets the job done just for me. Um, and with this, it is their, what, the MQ2 mechanical switches. They're very similar to what you would say MX Cherry, but they're proprietary. Um, I do believe you can switch the caps. It does have the standard um, stems, the MX stems, it looks like. Uh, so that's really nice. Unlike the G Pro, uh, where each individual light lit up, or key, uh, this is very similar to everything else, like your Corsair and Razor. So you're going to get some light bleeding through the keys. I thought that was going to be a bother after being used to my Logitech. It's not at all. In fact, I actually really like this uh, because of how bright the keyboard is. Uh, the top is aluminum, uh, which is really nice. Uh, one downside, though, is that it is a thick cord, but it is attached. Uh, you cannot detach it at all. Um, and it's not like I'm taking this to LAN parties every day, but I like to have the option. Uh, not to mention with it being connected, it does have a really durable connection to it. But at the same time, the durable connection can get in the way if you want to bump it up against something. So with that, it's going to limit the amount of desk space I have. Excuse me. So that's one thing that I didn't really care too much about it. Um, other than that, though, on the bottom here, so I'm trying to pull on it without ripping everything else out. Uh, it's got a really sleek bottom. You've got two large feet right here. Uh, one thing that's a little strange is Steel Series. Instead of having your standard fold-out feet, they have these little garments that just kind of, I guess, snap in the place. Uh, which it does its job. It doesn't bother me at all. But I could see where if someone moves their keyboard a lot when they're playing. Uh, okay, Google, stop. Wow, Google finally listen to me and now you want to play when I'm doing a video anyway um, <laughs> uh, so that could be a problem for someone that might move their keyboard around a lot um, but you do get this set that's already pre-installed and then you'll get a larger set so you can get a more elevation out of the keyboard itself um, as far as like RGB goes it's all your standard fare uh, Steel Series has decent hardware it's not anything super crazy uh, it gets the job done. It does look a little dated. I can pull it up here. Um, sorry, it might look kind of weird through the GoPro. But uh, so we have the Arctis 5 keyboard. We have the Rival plugged in. And then the M750. So you can have, you know, different, different RGB settings and whatnot. Uh, let me turn the lights off for you guys real fast so you can kind of see how everything looks. I had a I had a Christmas light going on since it is the holidays. Um, I still have one light on, but yeah, it does get very bright. And of course, if you do want to turn it down, you have all your functions to actually. It might not let me do it when I'm in the software. Let me uh, let me close out of the software. So you can actually lower everything if it wants to work with. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong one. Derp, derp. So you can turn it all the way down if you want. Uh, so whenever you hit function, it does light up all your accessible function keys. And then you can crank it back up. And then of course, all your audio is right there as well. Um, for someone that does really like their, their music 
in their media player, like on the keyboard, I can see where they might miss it. But to be honest with you, just hitting this is not really going to kill you. Um, it's just, you know, one thing you have to remember when you're playing music, when you're streaming or gaming and you need to pause it real fast, you just got to hit that steel series icon, the function key and bam right there. So, um, but this does retail for one thirty nine ninety nine, which can be a lot to some people. Um, I mean, more, it seems like keyboards are getting more and more expensive nowadays, uh, which is unfortunate, but um, this is a really, really good keyboard, and I've been using it for two weeks now with zero issues. This is the first time I've used a keyboard with such loud switches, so it's um, it's definitely something that you have to, get, have to get used to. And you can see right there, my RGB setting, I have radioactive, or reactive, so just something kind of cool. We all like RGB as much as we want to frown upon it. But uh, yeah, other than that though, uh, you got a bunch of different options. It's just a very simple, simple working keyboard uh, that gets the job done. Um, oh, and right here as well, you do have some aluminum uh, facing right here, which is really nice added little detail. Um, I like it, I really do. I, I definitely recommend it for someone. On top of the keyboard, I did end up getting SteelSeries wrist pad. They don't make it for the 10 keyless because I think this is their first or second 10 keyless. And I'm sure 10 keyless sells a lot less than a standard keyboard. So they don't really go out of their way to make something new. But um, uh, I just use this a lot. I don't put it up against. I don't recommend that because then it makes it kind of hard to hit your, your control and alt. Uh, just space it out a little bit. And it does definitely help your wrist. Uh, with this though, it's a super thick pad. Very, very thick. It's not, I mean, it's gel, and I guess you could say rubber, um, but it is material that could definitely hurt if you actually were to hit someone with. But what I like about it is that that's going to be durable. Because uh, if you go to Best Buy or something, you grab one of those like little gel wrists, um, those things wear out like so so fast, and they're not really that big, where this gives you plenty of space. Um, I did, as a matter of fact, use this at one point for my mouse. Um, and it worked really well when I was on my mouse more than the keyboard at one point um, This is I think on sale until the first uh, Like 50% off which is really cool. So it was like seven bucks and I was like why not, you know um, I don't regret it. That's for sure. But yeah, this is the apex M750 keyboard and if you're looking for a 10 keyless, I definitely recommend this by steel series All right, if you guys have any questions or concerns definitely leave a comment below if you liked it hit that like button and of course subscribe if you want more unboxing videos uh, other than that you guys take care of yourselves now